Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you how to exit the fast boot mode on Realme C71. If you have entered the fast boot mode by an accident and don't know how to exit it, I'm gonna show you three methods of doing that and one of them at some point should work. So try all of these and you can see I have the fast boot mode right here. It, it tells me that. So it's just if it's just stuck there, first let's try pressing and holding on the power button for uh, about 20 seconds up to half a minute if it doesn't do anything try pressing and holding on power and volume down for about 15 seconds if it still doesn't help then you will need to do the first step which is using a computer and it can be windows or mac os first i'm gonna show you that for windows but for mac os it's gonna be quite simple all you need a, is a computer and a USB-C cable that fits your phone and on the other side either USB-A or USB-C depending on what your computer can fit uh, and it has to be a cable <coughs> that uh, supports data transfer and you'll find out if it doesn't work properly then you'll probably find out uh, during the process so um, what we should begin with is simply go to the computer and on the computer you can see a few things here i'm on a website and the website is basically developer.android.com slash tools slash releases slash platform tools you can basically find it by searching for a Android platform tools and it will be the first one most probably so let's select that now I'm gonna make sure I have English set and now select platform tools for Windows or platform tools for Mac but as I said I'm gonna show you the Mac later um, I'm gonna select the one for Windows now let's scroll down agree and download now you'll have a zip file I'm just gonna click on the folder right here to open it in a folder so I can simply click on it once like that so it doesn't change the name just just click on it so it's selected then click on extract all click on extract and now it is extracted into a folder and inside of that folder there's another folder which says platform tools now once you go inside and see all these different files right click and click on open in terminal now to check if everything works correctly for now type in dot backslash fastboot if it says usage no command then it's great um, and now we should begin by uh, typing in dot backslash fastboot reboot like that i am gonna zoom in for you so you can actually see it better this is the command that you should type in now click on enter and you should plug your phone into the computer with the usb c cable if you haven't done that yet and if you have um, and it still says that waiting for a device then um, basically you'll need to try using a different cable or a different port on your computer I'm gonna get back to you when I get a cable okay so I got a cable I've have it already plugged into my computer and I hope it'll work because I tried it earlier and it did and yes it does you can see the screen on the phone has went off on the computer you can see it says uh, rebooting okay finished and yes basically that's all in this video this method is always working but uh, as i promised i'm gonna also show you how to do it on mac so hold on a second so to do it on mac simply go to the same website as i've shown you earlier let's type in android platform tools And now let's go to Android developers. 
scroll down a little bit until we find download SDK platform tools for Mac. Scroll down. I have read and agree, download. Now I'm gonna open it in a folder as earlier. Now let's double click on it. It'll automatically extract it and we'll see the folder. In my case, it's platform tools too because I already have platform tools here, but open the folder. Now either open it or just have an option to click on the folder itself. So it doesn't have to be opened. A right click on it or click with two fingers then go to services new terminal at folder and now you can type in a dot slash not backslash as on windows but standard slash forward slash um, fastboot reboot and you can see it says waiting for devices so it should work and i hope that this video was helpful don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next one